Danny is with us in Houston, Texas. Hey, Danny, welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Thank you, thank you. How you doing, Dave? Better than I deserve. What's up? <laughs> All right, so the story is my brother uh, put me in, in debt, about six grand with Amazon. Uh, the account got sold to a debt collector, and now I'm dealing with them. How they did your wait, that, How did your brother put you in debt? He signed your name? Well, yeah, my brother's 10 years older than me. Uh, this is not his first time doing it, so he has, like, my information and stuff like that. Oh, so your and brother's then, a thief? Yes, yeah. Uh, yeah He's a crook? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. You don't owe this money. You don't have to uh, pay debt yeah, if somebody steals your identity. It's not your debt. Well, if I do file fraud and everything, and yeah. he goes possibly to jail, um, yeah. who's That's what happens to crooks. that debt then? Huh? Is it still him or? Yeah, it's him. They don't. They, you don't owe the money. Okay. Now I don't. I, truthfully, I doubt they'll put him in jail. They probably should. He's a yeah. thief. But um, I mean, and then this has happened before. Yeah, when I was younger, um, like in my high school or college years, I heard about my parents and sister talking about it. My parents actually took care of that debt. Uh, he filed bankrupt whenever that was. I had no idea that yeah. happened when I was younger, but yeah. And how long ago did um, this happen? When this, this, la- this last thing with Amazon? This Amazon account has been open since like 2016. Yeah, when did you discover it? Um, uh, earlier this week when the debt collectors started calling me. Oh, this week is the first time you heard about it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. good, good. Okay, have you talked to your yeah. brother about this? I I text him. He actually avoids my phone call, so this is I actually called his wife and... I think that's the only person that can kind of get through to him to talk some sense into him, you know. So, yeah. Well, just go ahead and tell her you're going to file a police report because okay. you have to to get rid of this and get in touch with the debt collector and get in touch with Amazon and let them know that this is identity theft uh, and you actually okay. know who the crook is. You're required to tell them by law if you know who the crook is. Okay. And so um, I'm not trying to throw him under the bus, but he threw himself in front of the bus. Okay. By doing this. If, so you can't pay this bill. You you really can't. It, you're going to get yourself in a mess if you do. So call the debt collector back and say, this is, how old are you? I'm 20, I turned 27 this year. Okay. Call the debt collector yeah. back and tell them that this is not your debt, that your identity has been stolen. You think you know who it is, and you will be filing a police report that you can forward to them. What procedure do they have for you to file an identity theft claim with them because you are not paying this? I talked to my financial coach. He says, I do not owe this money and for me not to pay it because you just talked to me and I'm your financial coach. <laughs> Um, another quick question then. Are you going to do my that? Brother gets, well, I want to settle this in a peaceful manner where my brother doesn't get charged with a criminal record and he just pays the debt. Because how does he get a job if he, if he has a criminal record, right? So that's my thought. That's kind of his problem. That's his problem. Yeah, because he's kind of a crook. Yeah. And he did I, it before. I, you know what? Yeah, you settle this, this again, you're gonna, you settle it, he's going to do it again. He won't even return your call. He won't even return your call to say, I'm sorry. Yeah. He acts like he's entitled to rob a bank. Yeah, I'm hurt. I'm hurt. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, who screws over their own brother? Yeah, his family. (laughs) Yeah. I'm supposed to be trusting this guy. He's 10 years older than me. (laughs) Well, he should be, but he's not trustworthy, is he? I'm sorry, man. I know it breaks your heart, and you're trying to be a nice guy about it. But listen, the only way I would cut this guy some slack is if he called you back like instantaneously and went, man, I'm so sorry. I screwed up so bad. I'm going to pay this, and I promise I'll never do it again, and I'm going to get it paid by the end of the week. And, you know, if he started acting that way, but he won't even own it. Yeah. Dude. I mean, and here's the thing. He's not going to go to jail. They're not going to prosecute him. They're too lazy to prosecute him. They're going to write it off, and they're going to put a black mark on his name, and that's all they're going to do. I mean, they might. They can, but they're not going to. They're they're just not that aggressive. They're too lazy. Okay. So they might. I mean, I'll tell you there's a 5% chance that they follow it all the way through, but I doubt they will. I doubt very seriously they will. 
Um, and if they okay. do, then it's it's his fault. He's the one that chose to be a bank robber. See, when you use a gun or when you use someone else's identity and you steal money from a bank, in either case, you're a bank robber. Yep. That's how serious this is. This is criminal yeah. fraud. So yeah. you do what okay. you want to do, dude, but that's what I would do if I were in your shoes. And I'm not trying to be mean to him, but I am saying that you know there's a proper way to react to these things he's not even on the radar of proper reaction to this uh there's no repentance there's no uh no no regret there's no nothing he's just hiding from you i have to call his wife to talk some sense into him your older brother who screwed you over i mean my goodness no no dude this is going to keep happening and keep happening until you stop it from happening and if I were in your shoes, that's what I would do in this scenario.